Uh, in the following video, I will answer question 5 of the June 2010 Core 4 OCR paper. Again, it's on implicit differentiation. Here we go. Find the coordinates of the stationary points of this curve. For a stationary point, the gradient function of the curve, i.e. dy by dx, must equal 0. Let's find dy by dx. Right, I'm going to differentiate everything implicitly with... Uh, I'm going to differentiate everything with respect to x that I see. The differential of x squared is 2x, right? The differential with respect to x of 4xy, right? I'm going to think of that as a product rule of u times v. The differential of u times v is uv dash plus vu dash, okay, using the product rule. So, u is 4x, so when I do this, I'm going to get 4x, and the derivative of y with respect to x is dy by dx, okay, plus v, which is y, times the derivative of u, which would be 4, so I'm going to get plus 4y. So this simply tidies up, as it's written, to 4x dy by dx plus 4y. Now, lastly, let's differentiate, with respect to x, 2y squared. Okay, I can't differentiate this uh, directly with respect to x, so using the chain rule, I differentiate with respect to y, 2y squared, okay, that should be a y, and I fix it afterwards by multiplying by dy over dx. The difference of 2y squared is 4y, so I get here 4y dy by dx. The difference of 18 is, is 0, and the difference of 0 is 0. So differentiating both sides, let's write the result. I would have 2x, I would have plus 4x dy by dx plus 4y, and then plus this, plus 4y dy by dx, okay, equals 0. Then you've got to use uh, your knowledge of uh, previous modules. For stationary points, so write down what you're doing. For a stationary point, dy by dx, the gradient function, is 0. And at this point, I wouldn't rearrange and make dy by dx a subject. Use the fact that dy by dx is 0, which means this whole thing will be 0, this whole expression will be 0, and you simply get that 2x plus 4y is 0, and maybe make an x the subject of this formula, subtract 4y from both sides and divide by 2, x must be equal to the negative 2y. Okay, right. Now, you may look at this at this point. Actually, I will bring this onto another page. And I'm just going to keep this last line here as something we found out. Now, you may look at this and say, I've done all that work here, okay, and I get the answer, x is minus 2y. But how on earth is that the coordinates of any stationary points? Well, you're actually nearly there. Think about it. The, what you've got is these coordinates satisfy that equation, because they lie on the curve. Those coordinates also stationary points satisfy that equation. So we've got a pair of we've got some coordinates that satisfy two equations and so we've got two, uh, two unknowns with two equations. We can solve this simultaneously if we do a substitution. So if we substitute x is minus 2y into equation 1 in equation 1, work out what we get, then we might be able to solve for x. So let's do it. Instead of writing x, we're going to have minus 2y squared. We're going to have plus 4. Instead of x, we're going to have minus 2y times y. The 2y squared is fine. Plus 18 is 0. Right, let's just tidy up. Minus 2y all squared is 4y squared. Minus 2y times 4 is minus 8y times another y to be minus 8y squared, plus our 2y squared, plus 18 is 0. 
Let's tidy it up. 4y squared minus 8y squared is minus 4y squared. But add another 2y squared, you get minus 2y squared plus 18, 0. Rearranging, making y squared the subject. Subtract 18 from both sides, divide by negative 2. y squared must be 9. So that tells us that y is 3 or y is negative 3. Let's find our x from that. Well, using the simple equation, equation 2, if y is 3, x must be minus 6, subbing in here, and in this case, x must be equal to positive 6. So the coordinates of the stationary point are minus 6, 3, and 6, minus 3. Okay, I hope you found the following useful in your revision for implicit differentiation in core 4. Thank you for listening.